Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World. We're in Prague in the Czech Republic. We got Charles Bridge next to us. Castle Hill up over there, St. Vitus Cathedral, fantastic place. Now, if you're coming to the Czech Republic, you might not know, hey, what money do they use or, or, or what do they speak here? Because in the U.S., you don't really learn much about the Czech Republic. So that's what we have, the Czech Republic versus the U.S. for tourists to get them ready to go. And if you're Czech going to the U.S., this could help you too. Now, the first thing you have is the language. Now, here in the Czech Republic, they speak Czech, which is nothing like German or English or Spanish or Chinese or whatever you learned in school. So you're probably not gonna be able to read pretty much anything. So no, pivo is beer, okay? And chukui is thank you or something like that. So learn a little bit before you come. Now in the Czech Republic, the young people all learn English and they know a lot of German too. So you should be fine, especially if you're in tourist spots. So you're not gonna have a big deal. Now, if you go to the US, my Czech friends, well, I'm sorry, you're out of luck. Nobody speaks Czech. So you gotta know some English when you go. So try to get that, okay? The second thing you probably want to know as a tourist is what kind of money do they have here? Well, they have the Czech crown or koruna, okay? And it's basically for the dollar, it's like 20 kruna to one dollar or like 27 kruna to one euro, okay, if you're, if you're traveling around. Um, it is a little bit cheaper than Germany or Austria, but this is not Eastern Europe. This is Central Europe, so you have more Central Europe prices like in Germany and Austria with a slight discount, okay? Now, in the U.S., I mean, if I compare prices here, it's probably about 20% less than equivalent stuff in the US. Now, what about taking out money or exchanging money? Well, you'll see exchange houses all over the place. Don't go to those, they give you a really bad rate. Go to a bank, a real bank that will exchange the money for you. Or better yet, use your debit card, okay? Because you get your best rate from your debit card. That's your best bet. Now, one thing with the ATMs though, is they give you like a 2,000 or 3,000 crown option. The thing is, if you take out 2,000 crowns, you get a 2,000 crown note, which is like a $100 bill. And you know how easy that is to use a $100 bill in the US? Well, it's kind of the same thing here with change. So try to get smaller denominations if you can to buy the little things, all right? Otherwise, you're gonna be breaking out a restaurant when you eat. Also, when you look at if can I use my credit card? Yes, they take credit cards here, lots of places, but just like everywhere else in Europe, cash is king and if you're gonna go to restaurants they do eat lunch the same time as the US like 12 to 1 something like that dinner they eat a little bit later it's not five o'clock it's you know seven something like that six to eight the restaurants are pretty busy stuff like that um, but the, the times are pretty much the same the food here in the Czech Republic lots of pork lots of you know, a great food the dumplings and the duck and all kinds of stuff so you want to get those things us yes there's lots of burgers and pizza and not the greatest food if you want but you gotta really search for the good restaurants there here there's a lot of great food in the czech republic so just eat the local cuisine though if you don't like the czech food many restaurants will have italian or american food on it too so don't worry next you look at the toilets toilets work the same way it's the same sit down toilet with the toilet paper you wipe your butt if it's in a hotel, you can throw it down the thing. If you're in smaller villages, sometimes they'll have a little trash can next to it to put the toilet paper in. Yes, it's kind of gross, but some of the in some of the smaller towns, the water systems can't, the pipe systems, the sewer systems can't handle it. So just make sure you look, but most of the time it can go down, you're fine. Now, in some of the costs you look at, if you're gonna get a big beer, like a half liter beer, you know, those big tall boy can kind of size things, here they're gonna be about two, the equivalent of two dollars, where in the US if you go to a bar, they'll be between like three and five dollars or more if you get like a fancy, you know, a fancy restaurant kind of stuff. But you can get it a lot cheaper than two dollars. That's tourist prices, the two bucks for that, okay? Now, Tipping. Here in the Czech Republic, you do tip 10% is pretty much the given. It was bad service, well, you don't have to tip, but in general, tipping is 10%. While in the US, tipping is 15 to 20%, kind of like 15% is the minimum because they don't get paid much of a wage, okay? So here in Czech Republic, 10%, US, 15 to 20%. Now, in terms of shopping, when can you go shopping? Here in the Czech Republic, basically 9 to 6 or 8.30 to 6 something like that that's the shopping times monday through friday obviously in tourist cities tourist shops stay open longer but if you're going to go to the grocery store it's good to know that most things close 6 6 30 like uh, in the u.s there's a lot of 24 hours a day shopping or if it's a mall it might close at 9 or 10 at night and open at 9 or 10 in the morning okay 
And then the last one I want to talk about are the plugs. Now, in the US, you know, you have these two plugs that go straight in like this. Well, here in the Czech Republic, they have it like most places in mainland Europe. It's the two circle prongs that go in like this, okay? Now, sometimes in the plug in the wall, you'll see like a little metal thing there. Don't worry, if your plug doesn't have that little hole for that, it kind of shoots in, so you'll be okay. All right, so I hope that helps you get, get ready to come check out the Czech Republic. It is a fantastic place. I love it. I have great friends from here. I've been, I mean, I've been to Prague like nine times. I've been to Ostrava and all kinds of other places. You gotta go to Czech Krumlov. There's so many fantastic things. And if you wanna learn more, top 10 sites to see here in Prague, five things you love and hate about Czech, check us out at our website at waltersworld.com. And buy from Prague in the Czech Republic and go hike up to the castle and see St. Vitus Cathedral. And the view from there is to die for. Bye.